over now to Ghosty versus Blight. What map will he get? That'll be very important to see. Oh, dear, you need. Torment Creek is not what you want it. We'll have to be relying on the corn. Have to be relying on some clutch gen grabs here. Stealth mode immediately, no question about it. And a tough, tough, tough map for Ghosty, but he's going to try and do the best that he can. There's someone on the shed. Could there be something here for the Ghosty there? Very on the ball. Saw immediately what Ghosty was doing. Sprint bus taking them away. They're going to reveal. Uh, we'll take an injury in doing so. Oh, and it could be a quick hook still for Ghosty, unless there is a pallet on this tile. Doesn't matter. The hay with the assist. The hay with the assist, like my favourite Pixies song. That's true, my favourite Pixies song is Hey. Witcher, hey, hey, hey. Witcher, hey. I, I, I really like it, I think it's great. Filling Tremors doesn't pop over here, so Ghosty knows there's someone on this gen. Uh, um, or maybe not. So they would have been someone. No idea where they've gone thereafter. Oh, oh, chase. A chase there. There we go. Make it in the window. Oh, did medium vault, but not quite. Not quite sufficiently for the ghosty to get the entry. They're going to do a surprise stun. They're not. The entry from ghosty. They just got stuck on the wall. Looking for a burn. Good, good play from Edgar Restraint. As there goes. I think that's Lavita running into the right. Ghost is going to keep on them. Won't be a denial. Might be a trade or at least a pretty good chase thereafter. Good spread of injuries here. Lita running along. Already kicked the door into the left as the ghosty. Looks like it's going that way. Then quickly pivot back here. Maybe that gets some kind of. There's Ada going off to the right there. And Jill on this gen. Okay. All survivors cancer for. All survivors injured. Well worth a kick. I said, well worth a kick. Maybe stealth here. This is actually, like, enticing the reveal. You want intel, and an unwitting, unsuspecting survivor may give it to you by revealing you when they would rather not have done so. That gen really, really, really moving. You don't want to leave it for too long. Aha! That's Lita. Good intel. Good play from Ghosty. Good awareness. Oh! Runs right into them. Jolt on the gen. Massive. Now, here's the question for Ghosty. Can he get the hook and head back to the gen before it completes? Should be doable. Also, another stack of no way out for the end game. Ada on the gen. It'll be really close. It'll be really close. They're not going to get it. They're not going to come in. Which way has she gone? To the pallet? Yes, indeed. Okay. Sprint burst. Good play from her. That'll take her away from the hook, away from the gen. Surely someone will be wanting to get back on it. As I'm all ears. Good aura reading. Getting the injury. Pivoting away. Is that gen still aggressing? It is. Worth a look. Might lose this chase, but worth a look just to keep that all in sight. There's the unhook. So much of the game is localized around this gen. Ghosty really wants him to keep on it. Good play from Felita. They have tapped the gen. Still picking up again, Ghosty. Once more, is there someone waiting around to get back on that gen? If they know their stuff, they'll avoid the reveal. Looks like they are. Okay, Ghosty can't afford to lose the game elsewhere while keeping that gen in check, so we'll have to go on a little bit of a troll elsewhere. The gen movement here could just be the grab that he's been searching for all game long. Not quite, not quite, but Ninja Party... Ghost window. I'm all is really, really good here. For that reason, massive. Gets the pallet burn. Gets the dying state. Very, very good stuff. An injured party all the way over yonder. It's basement down here. It is. Finally loses that gen. That's okay. Thrilling tremors will prevent the immediate double pop. No intel as to which gen's being moved from it. The basement hook. The killer shack pallet kick. And then maybe try and find Meg. Try and find Tolita. While, while stealthed and get a really quick dying state there. Taboot. Talking of Taboot. 
This gen could require a boot here, moving a bit too much for the ghost faces. Fancy! And away he goes. You know what? It's a tough map. Ghosty will not be feeling too unhappy about his performance thus far. Injured party running peripherally away from the gen to this tile. I'm all here so good yet again. We'll get to a window. Does she fake out? She does not. Going back around, just getting that last little vestige of I'm all ears and the killer instinct. Killer instinct, actually, the crucial factor there. Here's the question. Can Ghosty get Felita all the way to basement? No. Maybe you can. He's not going to risk it. What he could do is try and deny any basement heals. They're not going to be basement healing. Okay. As there goes Meg. Meg, a really good opportunity for a chase here on her. Jen not moving too much back there. Should force the pallet burn. Yeah. Get the kicks, Ghosty. Up on the hill goes Meg. She's got caught on it. Stuffing up, coming back. Didn't get I'm all ears, unfortunately. Live, though. Makes them leave Killer Shack entirely. Oh, they just missed a window. Doubling back is Ghosty. Remember, don't need to uh, moonwalk as long as you're undetectable because you won't be having a red stain. Ada. Really looking for an injury there. Don't quite get it. There are at least three survivors in this corner for Ghosty. None of these people moving gen. Still that two gen buffer to think about as well. Lost Meg entirely. Really good. Oh, really good play. But there's Meg. Eight second protection hits. They're doing well here. They're doing very well. But Ghosty won't mind this. One iota. That's that. These are all injuries. And these are all um, times that people are away from a gen. How did that happen? How, oh how, while not stealthed, did that work? What a gift. And a precious gift as well, because this is a game that was moving away from him. The gen's moving a bit too quickly. Okay, a massive grab. Third stack on no way out. Gen unblocked over here. Not moving too concerningly. In fact, might not be too worried about the kick there. Uh, nor over there. Good stealth up. Looking once again for that intel. The healing party in silo. And around silo. Heading roughly for the unhook or for the gen? Now heading for the unhook. Just spying through the corn on the wall in the periphery. I'll keep on them here, vaulting through. No marking at all being done by Ghosty. No marking needed for moonwalks like that. Very well played. The gen does pop. This is a very tight game. Every hook state's crucial here. The blight is not consistent. The blight can have a really strong high hook game, but can also falter. So any hooks you accrue here, trying to make it as formidable a score for the ghost team as possible. Get stealth back. Again, trying to, trying to get the reveal, trying to get the intel. Not really been stalking too much to try and find locations. We'll start doing that now. Aha! And gets the goods. In fact, could this be a full-on mark? It won't be, but they stop. They stop the reveal, which gets a hit. Oh, it doesn't! Accidentally hitting on Hook is ghosty. That was a major, major error. We'll make this chase a bit longer than he would maybe like. Ada trying to take Ghosty to Killer Shack. No. It's a double window loop. The moment they fault, remember, you get the aura. Aura not too impactful there. Good to have. It will be a dying state again. And another hook. Ghosty seventh of the match. Only one gem block with thrilling tremors. Now, that is concerning. It is at least a kill. That means there is significant gem movement here. Two survivors there. Last mine. Well worth getting the kick even through the stun and the blindness. And you know this gent's moving as well. So stealthing up, heading over. Looking a bit more than you'd like. Got away early. Right, so a survivor out of there is a hugely beneficial thing for the ghosty. Aha! Probably put the fear of God into them there. They thought the hay bale was their ally. Do they get this vault? They do not. Great play from Ghosty. Jolt on the middle gen. Absolutely enormous. And a hook 
just to the right, could things be turning in the killer's Sleep direction? Laughing for barbecue, no aura reading. As Meg flees the scene, getting the kick. Taloons, it's not your raid. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's the stream? Hope you're doing well. Hello, everyone, you join us. At the pivot point here, Ghosty looking for a 4K has done enough to really put the pressure on. And that will help a great deal. That will help a great deal. Three in tremors. All gens blocked, no progress. Second hook, not quite a kill. But now, every survivor will be on death hook, so this is where you can really put the screws in and uh, hope to finalize this game. The other hook over here, thinking about where the healing, where the healing party have gone. They find the healing party if you do find Thalita running in for an unhook. Good injury there. This is great. It will force the injured party, Jill, in for the save. They are not the burn. Bit risky. So they get this vault. They'll be really close. Oh, good fake out. Oh, but the ghosty just, just a lucky hit has to be said. You might be saying disagree. I wouldn't entirely disagree with that. Um, but we'll take it all, dear. Thank God for the unhook. There wasn't a hook. Or ghosty there, barring Sabo. He's in the money. A BT hit. Not going to pressure him too much. And that'll be a kill. Two survival protocol in effect. The hatch offering as well. To deny hatch and make it a 4K. Ghosty here just going to go fully after Meg. Oh, bit movement here. More than you'd ideally like. As the chase takes Ghosty over to the right. Uh, dance with me. Yep, dance with me to, for the uh, for the lack of scratch marks there. As Ghosty stealths up. Taking on this chase. They're going to reveal. It's a race to the window. Is it a race that Meg wins? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, then. Getting the pick up. Getting the hook. The wriggling as well. It should have been makeable either way. Uh, very good for Ghosty that he can get the hook in the basement and then shut the hatch. Game is not done yet, not by a long shot. No way out though, as long as Ghosty can get the hatch shut, no way out should, should put the game to rest. There it goes, okay. Stealthing up. No reason not to. Again, trying to trying to get Jill to reveal herself. You can just basically wait for no way out to activate. The only thing you do fear, maybe, is the key play. Do you remember someone running? Was someone holding a key? You would imagine not, but you do never know. Maybe worth just checking on the hatch. Now the idea is in the ghost face's mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind, there's a chase. Could be the beginning of the end of this one. I apologize. I apologize. Um, what a game from him. Not an ideal map for Ghostface at all. Didn't really use marking whatsoever. But still got it done. Okay. Uh, Guard the Joy for the Blight, not an amazing map. Just gonna try and make it work. There are plenty of bounce opportunities. In fact, ah, mistook a tree trunk. Mistook a tree trunk there for a survivor, tough one. I'm gonna head over to Killer Shack. Maybe some movement on this gen. You'd imagine so. There is some movement on this gen. In fact, there's two survivors on this gen. Huge, huge situation. There's someone on the left, someone on the right. Like in the pivot right. Do you get their pallet burn? No. Sprint bus kicking to get there. Good play from them. Quick rush. Ah. Try to be effective. Try to get the injury out there as soon as possible. It's a bit, a bit audacious, a bit ambitious. But there's the injury. There's someone back on this gen. That's going to pivot over. Someone's up in back. Oh, lost. Lost Claudette entirely here. No, never mind. She was around this small tile. Will be an injury. 
Right, could this be a follow-up with the rush? Oh, not quite. Didn't quite have the rush in time. It is blood favor. For a little bit longer, they'll want to go window knowing that the uh, the pallet isn't an option for them. Ah, oh, they double back. Really good play for Claudette. To go window again. They don't. Good play. Good play. Oh, hang on. Pushing around. Okay, this should at least force a pallet burn. Yeah, it will. Rushing through now is Blight. Three quick rushes could be exactly what he needs. Ah, oh, still gets the window. Really good play. Oh, what a rush around Shaq, though. Needed to make something happen, and by God, how he has there. Very, very good stuff. Okay, still took a bit longer than he'd like, but... Certainly would have needed that after so long around the Shaq. Okay, all the way around the back. Good stuff from Blight. Gonna get rushing. Gonna be as effective as possible. Wants that pentimento stack for sure. That's where he's gonna head next. There's someone on this. Someone on the left hand gen. No one here right now. I'm gonna get pentimento. Get that first important stack. Get the gen booted. Head over to the other pentimento a ball. The, the rekindler ball. Totem. Over yonder. Okay, that's, that's a good bit of early Pentimento. Two stacks as well for that buffer to protect the gen repair penalty. Lots to like. And there's your first Devour Hope stack as well. There is a Devour Hope totem in Killer Shack. So the Blight wants to be back in Shack for more reasons than one. They're healing in basement. They're absolutely healing in basement. This could be huge. Ninja on Rebecca, pivoting around. How much BT does Claudette have left? Not enough. Okay. Oh, a risky play. A risky play. It wasn't Rebecca. Sorry, it was near. A risky play to heal in basement and Blight might be getting two early hooks. He will. As Nia follows, that breakout for her. Moves away pretty soon thereafter. Needs any kind of seam. Needs any kind of advantage here. So definitely going to be taking... That hook right there as Nia sticks around. Killer Shack. Very, very risky from her. Instant Rock goes play. Needs a brush. Oh, inches short. So despairing. Cheeky little tea bag. They have every right to, but that was not far away for, for the Blight whatsoever. Keeping them in the periphery. Another Devour Hope token. Do they get this pallet? They will. No, they won't. Delayed just a smidgen too much. And that will be. Another hook for Blight. Don't look now, but things are suddenly going in the Blight's direction, and solidly so. Pentimento gone over here. The gem movement here, but the gem movement behind. Check it out, Killer Shack. You don't want to... Ah. I'm going to say you don't want to lose uh, the Bar Hope. That's what will happen. Going around here. Oh, dear, where they've gone. Uh, Blight will certainly want to be getting... Pentimento back in play. You still have Devour Hope. It's over there. And now, exposed status. Exposed status for the Blight. Obviously, you don't want to rush. You don't want to get rush hits here. Only M1s. Only M1s are any good for you. Are they committing to Pentimento? They're not. You really hope they would have been for that nice, easy exposed hit. No matter. Going to head to this gen. These two gens. No movement over here. Okay. Says Claudette on the Killer Shack Gen. Get the kick. You get the boots. You can leave them alone here. Want to go after uninjured parties, get effectiveness, get use out of the uh, the Bar Hope Totem. Where is the gem movement? There is the gem movement. It's an injury, it's a rush injury. So it won't be exposed, but still going to take that. As they are... Oh, they fled the scene. Good play from Jane. Ran in an unexpected and surprising manner. Like he can go after them. Hook over here. What a rush. What a set of rushes from the Blight. Making up a lot of ground and getting another hook. 
Ah, oh, but just getting the bow hope. What a shame. Really good play from Meg. They'll take an injury. Very well done. I mean, listen. Listen, the bow hope is always a fringe scenario. Not what you want to pin your hat to. There's still lots to like. Three Pentimento stacks. Um... I just want to keep on the survivor who fled the scene. Uh, three pentamento stacks, still three gens left. Four hooks on the board. Very reasonable stuff indeed. So there's the unhook. Black and head back, check out the area. Jane's here, who got the unhook? It was Claudette. Oh dear, it was Claudette. Right, so that will be a kill, assuming that the pickup goes through. Unobstructed, it does. Okay. Getting three survivors at this early stage is obviously very beneficial for the blight here. Maybe some words in the post game, but uh, he won't mind that. To the fence. To the picnic table. Oh, uh, apparently not to the picnic table. To the gems. No movement on the left, a bit of movement on the right. Well, worth a kick. They get one of those Pentimento stacks. That's fine. Still two in play. Oh, dear. Hair in my eye. Ah, ah. Hate that. As they get Killer Shack Gen, or at least a Gen next to Killer Shack. Trying to keep the area in size. Are they healing on Gen? I can quite see them moving away. There goes another Pentimento stack. There they are. Okay. I agree. It's Sprint Burst. Uh, for the Meg. That will get them away. Rushing after them is a blank. Oh, it's mere inches. Me inches away there again. I'm really, really unlucky. Rush, if you get that hit... Wow, there goes the third Pentimento. They are on the ball. Um, if you get that hit, you recharge, and it's probably a very different game state. Can we walk here? Guess the goods. Really good play. Really good play. Oh, and it could be a nice one-two here. It will be no chance of a window in this situation. Very nice. Whew. Like has not sort of comments. Yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It was unfortunate. Obviously, it left the game very early. Would I call it a tunnel? No, obviously, I'm biased. I don't think the Blight went out of his way to go after one survivor at the expense of others. Simply went to some high-pressure situations and went after the best chase therein. Um, can we get moving? There's another opportunity for Pentimento over there. We might focus on the gens first and foremost. Any of these gens moving? They are. Okay, there's one here. It's near moving off to the left. Am I going to keep on her? Oh, good pivot back from her. Okay. Looked up people in between. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right. Over to this Pentimento Kindleable Totem. They'll know that that's there and that it will probably be gone very shortly. But, you know, always important to get that effect out there. Is that gen still regressing? It isn't. It isn't. Good play from Nia. Do they get a pallet? They do. No star, surprisingly. Pivoting right, pivoting right, pivoting right. Back on them. Good play, just getting distance. Countering all of the moonwalks. The antics from the blight. Just had an inkling. Aha! Good play from them. Palibur. This is a scary chase now. If this goes on for too long, if a gem pops, things could be very concerning indeed. Rushing now to blight, trying to... Oh, I, I mean... Really, really desperately disappointing collision mechanics with the blight once again. That's been a foible of his for the longest time, and indeed it is there. Another rush this time. They go window. They get window again. Taking inside the lines of blight. Ah! Spin move not going to be as effective as you might imagine. Window's gone. Blight can take this chase conventionally. And could be the beginning of the end. It will be. Good play from the blight. They took a lot of time. It was a good chase for them. Ugh. As the pollen seeps in. 
I've never, I've never had any hay fever-ish things before, but I may be reassessing that now. There is a bit of gem moving over here. There's someone behind this bush. There is. Okay, good play. Pivoting left early. Where do they go thereafter? Into this tile. Oh, they did, they did. What's that then? What are those lack of scratch marks? Not lucky break, because there was blood. Not shadow step, I don't think. No boon around. Intriguing. Very intriguing. There's the unhook, there goes near. Who got the unhook though? Who got the unhook? Trying his best blight here to stay away from the person off the hook, but they're not making themselves clear. Then you know what 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 can one do? What can one do? Rushing around here. Lost them completely. Okay, well, have to go back to the gen now. Okay. So there's Jane moving around here as Blight. I've been back around. We'll deny that pallet nicely. Rushes are back. Gonna send them into the tree trunk. Need it here. Good play. Good play. How many hooks is that now? That will be the eighth. Still that two gem buffer, still Pentimento in play. Pentimento has been maybe an MVP so far. Lots of speed penalties there, which have kept Blight in the game. Rushing around, going back around this way. Oh, try the preemptive swing. They weren't gonna be fooled by that, but should be back here for an M1. They're gonna try and go in for the save. Blight looking to deny. Should be able to here. Oh, good spins. They get the unhook with that as well. They do, well played. It'll be a trade. Very good job from them, though, to, ev uh, to evade the Blight. Will this be a kill? It will be. Two survival protocol now in effect. Just going to quickly boot this pallet. Get the gem. <laughs> Kuroto, I appreciate it. And now, back on the survivors. You can just sense from the fluidity of these rushes that Blight has some newfound confidence here. Two injured parties, Meg and Jane, is either of them on this gen? No, they're healing. Where they're healing? We've no idea. Stephen, welcome in. Thank you for the introduction. Gonna start banning. What? Oh, watch out. Joe's. Joe's on the rampage. Get the picnic table. I just cannot bounce into that picnic table. Right, there's the Pentimento intel at least. And when it is too survival protocol, when you're looking for an opportunity to take a chase, that kind of intel. Invaluable. Invaluable for the Blight. Oh, but where are they? It's a great question. Aha! Meg, who does have Sprint Burst, is going to flee the scene. How the over here? Really nice, really nice moonwalk. Really, really nice moonwalk. That'll send them on their way, like Rusted Root. Send me on my way. Oh. oh, I thought Rusted Root would send us to glory there. No joy. Light. Not quite able to get the swing out. Rush over here. Quick rush back. That's very nice loot management there. And Blood Favor means the pallet's done. Not on. Um, And you don't... I don't think this is a kill for the Blight here, which might be ideal. You want a bit of time to prevent hatch. Set up your end game. It won't be a kill. Both Jane and Meg were roughly in the same location because they were healing, dealing with the totem, all that stuff. That's still aggressing. Just need that intel on Jane. Gonna head a bit further afield here. Try and make it happen. Mr. Skill check appears to be giving up. Might be trying to give Jane hatch. Blight's gonna be in a position to deny. It's here. Never mind. There's the unhook. Okay. Playing a cautious game, trying to make sure Hatch wasn't available. They get the unhook. Fair play to them. Like we'll be back on their tail. Not quite able to get the slam into the into the uh, uh, telegraph pole. In fact, lost them entirely here. Still no. Uh, still regression on that gen. Where could they have gone thereafter? Very confusing. They were over here before. Maybe they are again in this corner. Aha! That's exactly what they're doing. In fact, it's Meg alone healing with the medkit there. 
Bashing into the door. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Do get the window. Fair play. Hitting around this blight. Oh. Little comeback maneuver from Meg, thinking maybe they had dead hard or stip tick in their possession. Apparently they did not. Right, so it'll be a hook. Blight needs to immediately rush over to the hatch, because there's still the matter of the get the hatch of the 4K of keeping this game, of, you know, reaping the benefits, getting the 12 foot performance. So. Oh, it's in hatch! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Ah! Oh, horrible for the Blight and for the Blight team. That might be the end of their tournament there. And what a way for it to end. That'll be a loss. Only 11 hooks for them. So, Group D round three is done. We'll sort that table and give you the, the state of play in Group D. On top is Spirit with five points to her name. Wraith and Ghosty, both a game in hand, both on four points. Very interesting to see which of those take the step up if a, either of them do. Demogorgon might be... Might be out of the running here. Three games played and only one point to its name. Blight, it was so close to salvaging the draw. But in the end, has to eat the L and will only gain... Well, will only have one point bottom of Group D for him, albeit with a game in hand over the Demogorgon. Wow.